It's our big story at five. Black Lives Matter protests erupting around the country. This is one last night in St. Paul, Minnesota, where over 100 people were arrested. The clashes coming after a week of violence and Thursday night's tragic shooting where five police officers were killed by a sniper in Dallas. Now a Northeast Wisconsin state representative plans to unveil a bill tomorrow that would make targeting police officers a hate crime. NBC26's Billy Wagnes joins us live at five with what it could mean for the state. Holly, the bill would be modeled after a similar law passed earlier this year in Louisiana, which covers police officers, firefighters, and EMS personnel. But some say the call for unity and support needs to be happening more at the community level. Inside Divine Temple Church of God in Christ in Green Bay. Especially today, we wanted to pray for unity. We wanted to pray for peace because so much is going on. Pastor Green says he's spent this week building up his congregation's hope in the wake of last week's shootings in three different states. We are going to have problems. This is life. He's also been helping teach some of the largely African-American congregation's youth how to best handle a police encounter. If an officer tell you to get on the ground, get on the ground. It's a frustrating reality, says Pastor Green, which is why he's calling for a bigger community effort among churches, neighbors, and police to know one another. This can happen anywhere. It felt like the appropriate thing to do to bring this forward, to begin to bring public awareness and support uh, as we as a state show our support for Wisconsin law enforcement. It's a similar call for unity that Republican State Representative David Steffen says inspired his draft bill. With hate crimes, whether it's against a, a race, an ethnicity, sexual orientation, there are escalators in the law that apply to those types of crimes. Those will now exist for the first time in the state of Wisconsin for law enforcement. But Pastor Green doesn't want people to focus on what constitutes harsher punishment as much as he'd like to see more proactive efforts to bring a divided community closer together. I think any crime against any person is a hate crime. Not letting tragedy be the only trigger for peace. Now, current Wisconsin law defines a hate crime as a crime based in whole or in part on a person's race, religion, color, disability, sexual orientation, national origin, or ancestry. Keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC26.